Ever find yourself staring at a blank screen, unsure of how to visualize your data? This is where recommended charts can be a lifeline. It offers customized suggestions, helping you kickstart the visualization process. So, let's dive in. For hands-on experience, I have opened this demo file. I have a link in the description so you can download the same file and follow along with me. In this file, we have a simple data set showcasing the average whole time from five different call centers. I'm looking for help on how to best visualize this data. To start, click anywhere within the data set, then go to insert and choose recommended charts. As mentioned, this feature's goal is to suggest the most fitting chart types for a clear and insightful visualization of the given data. However, some of the charts that Excel suggests this time around, namely scatter and line found below here, just aren't appropriate. It misinterprets the first column, treating these numbers 1, 2, 3, and so forth as meaningful data points instead of identifiers for different categories. This brings us to a crucial lesson. Always be meticulous with your column labels. Without these, Excel might not grasp the data's context, which can lead to misguided assumptions and, as a result, unsuitable chart suggestions. To rectify this, I've prefixed the numerical values and the region columns with region. When generating the recommended charts, Excel no longer suggests the scatter plot, as it is now evident that these are not two quantitative variables. I've decided to opt for Excel's first recommendation of a bar chart. This choice does a good job at comparing values across various categories, which is, after all, what we're trying to do here. While bar charts might not be the most thrilling visual option, creating a chart merely for novelty's sake, rarely yields favorable results. Feel free to personalize your resulting chart's design, including labeling the axes, eliminating grid lines, and so forth. It is important to note that recommended charts are designed to provide a starting point in the process, not to complete the entire task for you. I do have an Excel Charts course that takes you from a beginner all the way to ninja level. So if you want to master 20 plus advanced dynamic charts and infographics, check out this link. Thank you for watching all the way to the end, and I'm going to catch you in the next video.